Okay. Let's check out the girl in white and see if she was willing to help us with an item. Oh yeah, we also, we actually did get the grave item, so let's see if the flowers are willing to help us this time as well. Not yet. We're at 15. And the girl in white's somewhere up ahead. Oh, there's the theater. It's probably a good sign, because we haven't been exploring too much around the theater. Let's see. Robin, Robin, Robin. You need to find these items. Oh, I think we're back at the playground again. Maybe I missed something at the playground. I don't know. I guess I can check. It'd be a little bit of a slowdown, but... I don't know. We may not have much choice here. I'm running out of ideas. You can see here is a rolled-up carpet. And uh, this will become significant for Ruby's story. Let's see if we can go on the seesaw, because she mentioned the seesaw in her little poem. As in, oh, there it is again, yeah, I see a saw. Nope. I don't think she can go on the merry-go-round. And for some reason, it's not letting me through there. Oh, fine, I'll go this way. Alright, now, let's see, you let me through now. Yes! Okay. I always thought that was kind of creepy, that little thing with the hands. I never saw that before in a uh, playground. I'm sure there are some playgrounds that have them, but that's just kind of creepy. Okay, no merry-go-round. Let's try the little ducky thing. Does she sit on that? I can't remember. No. Okay. I'm becoming convinced that I have indeed done everything. Patty cake, patty cake. Let's try the slide just one more time. Go on the slide, Robin. Okay, nope, nothing to say. So we're definitely finished with the playground. Nice little camera. Switch the shot there. Kind of interesting seeing Robin just kind of walking away as the girl in white plays. Let's see, I see a flower up there. Maybe the flowers will save us from me talking and talking and the game not actually progressing. Skippity, skippity. No, it's still not helping us. There's another flower over there, though, so... I am determined. If nothing else, we will get a nice little border of flowers. You can see that as you collect them, they show up. And you see it's kind of piecemeal here. Every flower actually does have a fixed position here. It, it doesn't just start as a line based on whatever order you pick them up in. Tell me something! Ah, darn it! Let's see. Well, the next one will be another multiple of six. We can only hope, folks. Oh, these next, these last three items are going to be the death of me. Girl in white. Take us somewhere new, please. 
I'll be your friend forever. Man, look at our path. For crying out loud. Actually, um... Let's try to head to an area that we haven't covered using that little map as a uh, guide. Because my guess is if there are items to be found, it's going to be in the place, the huge open space we haven't gone to yet. I think I'll probably run for several hundred meters at this point. Oh, don't give me the heartbeat. I'm not running that far. Okay, so I need to go this way, I think, to get to that place where we haven't done a lot of exploring. Oh, by the way, I should also mention, um, even though there are six attractions, um, only three will be in the forest for any particular girl, and I think each girl has a fixed set of three. I th so I think for Robin it's always the theater, the... Um, playground, and the graveyard. Of course, the one with the wolf will always be there for the associated girl. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to cl complete the chapter. Ah, good. We were heading in the right direction. So this is a region of the forest that we have not covered very much can only hope that we can find some kind of item around here. And of course, because this is the Endless Forest, once you get into it, it wraps, just like a Pac-Man game. I think I'm showing my age with that illusion, but anyway. So, um... If, uh, if, you, go, if you continue to go off in one direction, it'll eventually just wrap around, you'll be back where you started. Okay, this is definitely the theater. And I know that we can't look at the piano. Oh, there's the girl in white. Can't do the piano. We can't do... Well, actually, I think the piano is the only major item there. Oh, wait, no, there's a, I think there's a kabuki mask or something that's there, too. But again, I'm not sure if, Ro if, if that's an item for Robin. I guess we can try. I mean, what's the hurt? Let's see, now where is the kabuki mask? I think it's somewhere near the front side of the stage. There's grass growing out of the theater. This is definitely an old theater. Be nice on a spring day, though. Okay, if I was a kabuki mask, where would I be? I would probably be in Japan. I think kabuki masks are from Japan. Either that or I've just shown my ignorance of theater. Where is it? Is it on one of the benches? I don't see it. Uh, I see grass. That's not it. Oh well. I'm pretty sure that the kabuki mask is not... Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. That only shows up during uh, Scarlet's Wolf Encounter. That's right. Okay. Now I'm just making stuff up in my head. Alright, let's clear this area. All right. I'm going to let the girl in white run around one more time to see if she can show us something interesting. And if she doesn't, I'm just going to have no choice but to edit this out until I can... or cut, I should say, to the uh, 
time when I actually find the items I'm looking for. So let's get a little distance here. Let's see if the uh, girl in white shifts her position around. Oh, there's another flower. Shall we hope against hope, ladies and gentlemen? Run, Robin! Try to run faster than the plot. Actually, that's not hard at this point. No! See, now I'm really confused. I don't know. If someone knows how the flowers are supposed to work as far as giving hints, please tell me. Because I was convinced that I knew it, and now I'm not, not nearly so sure. Okay, let's see. Girl in white should be this way. We did the bullets. You can see that there's a big difference between the items that are really small and really big. See, I think the girl in white has returned to the grave. Yeah, she's returned to the graveyard. Okay. Alright, so since we're back in the graveyard, this is a good time for me to just edit. So, when I come back, I will hopefully have found something new. Okay, guys, I think I figured out why I couldn't find these three items. That's because I'd already found them before. I believe this is the uh, piano, the wall and um, the uh, playground tower. And I thought that the black background means that they could interact with them, but as you recall, um, as Robin, we already looked at those and she didn't have anything to say. So, <laughs> once again, I'm proven slightly misinformed here. Uh, I guess um, that's not always a guarantee that you can interact with them. I thought it was. And for the most part, I was right. You can see that all of these we were able to get, but not these. Um, so I don't know if that's perhaps a, a glitch in the game or, or if m my understanding is wrong. Um, the latter could certainly be more probable. But anyway, that explains why the girl in white kept going to the graveyard. It's because we've pretty much found everything that we're supposed to. So, uh, my, apologi my apologies for that, folks. I uh, had no intention to draw this particular chapter out as long as it did. Um, but now we're home free, um, because we uh, can head towards where the wolf is. And finish out the chapter. So let me just uh, get a little reading. Where is the wolf? That, nope, that's the theater. Oh, there's, okay, there's the scratches, okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Mr. Wolf, we're heading for you. Thankfully, um, even if you haven't completed the story before, they do always, just like they always tell you where the girl in white is, um, even at the beginning, they have the uh, scratches in the paw prints so that you know which direction to go for the wolf. So, there we are, finally. We can come here and complete things in the graveyard. And this time, of course, we will actually interact with the wolf. Now, you recall that Robin said that she wants to cuddle something furry. So that should give you some idea about why this was about to play out the way it does.